So, I wanted to tell you what my cool news is. So, my hair is still bright pink. This is Rocker with Walker. I cannot, the people at the salon told me I had to dye my hair black or I had to get it stripped, which cost about a hundred bucks. And I really just don't have that right now because that money is earmarked for something else, you know? You know, mainly bills. So, you know, it, it, I'm just gonna have to wait it out. I was gonna put Vaseline on it and then dye my hair blue and then I would have pink and blue hair. But I wanna be able to bleach my hair before I put the blue in it. And I can't when there's bright pink in it. It is stress. Here's my deck. It's completely covered, except right there, and right there, and then that's just a box of tarps, and, you know, I got all my soda pop over there, I don't have really, I'm going to get a new cupboard up here in uh, a couple days, so I'll have a place to store all this extraneous you know, water bottles and soda and that sparkling cider, not liquor. As people have looked at it, they're like, you don't even drink. Why do you have that? And I'm like, it's sparkling cider for Thanksgiving. Anyway, so things are progressing really well. But like all this stuff that is back here, all this stuff except for like the art pieces is all going in that cabinet. It'll be so nice. I have like three brooms up here and a squeegee and a mop. All that stuff can go in next to the storage. And it'll be really cleaned up behind me. And then this rug is making its way to someone else's house. I don't know who's yet. But um, I guess these rag rugs are really hard to find. So maybe I'll keep it and just... I would have to take it to the big laundromat in, in Hilo and put it in one of those ginormous dryers, washer dryer situations they've got up there. They're like, I don't know, 11 bucks a load or something. Do a huge load. You know, because it's been cleaned three times since it was in a flood three times, you know. So it it is not filthy dirty, but... It's been walked on by people and dogs and shoes and whatnot, and there's no reason that we shouldn't give it a good clean before we store it or I sell it or whatever, or give it to way to a good home. And then I have an indoor outdoor carpet that I'm gonna ring. I'm gonna around the whole thing. If you can look right there, that is copper tape, right? So when you put that copper tape around something, the slugs won't pass the copper. So that is how I'm keeping the slugs that are invasive off of the dog bowls, which during the day hold water. And then when they eat, I empty out one bowl so they can, so Arya can have a uh, dinner. She is a big girl. She weighs 27 pounds. So it's like a half a cup in the morning, a half a cup at night. I mean, there's like a big, eight or nine hour stretch there and then she might get a cookie here and there but try really hard not to give her a lot a lot of snacks and um you know the, the cool thing about Hawaii is you have to adapt right so like case in point CD stand now is a shelf for small items see right there those are the mosquito coils to keep the mosquitoes away and I have like you know some containers and, and whatnot and and little things can go in there because quite frankly although I have all the CDs to fill that and another one those are in my storage and it just CDs DVDs VHS sometimes they don't bode very well here because the humidity and like CDs and DVDs can get this weird black dots. They're like a fungus or something that eats right through the CD or the DVD. 
material and renders them useless. So I've had to replace quite a few movies because of this. And this is why I went to the Maka'u Market and, um, which is a, you know, a big food, fruit, vegetable, um, like a market, but it's outdoor. And, um, the CD or the DVD guy was there and I bought like, you know, 80, 80 CDs off, or excuse me, DVDs off him. And all of them had that fungus on them. So it's like, you know, he's buying them and he's like, opens it, makes sure there's a CD in there, but he isn't checking them to see if that fungus is on there. So I'll never buy from that guy again. Because, you know, why would you sell a product if you know it's not going to work? You know? So unless you check, you're never going to know. And obviously he didn't check. Because I bought like 80 movies that were 50 cents a piece, DVDs. And so for 40 bucks I got 80 movies. And I'm thinking, I'm living large. Nah, they all were trash. So they all are not... It really sucked because I'd like lend them to friends where they're, they're like, oh, it doesn't play because it has that fungus. And I'm like, what's fungus? And, um, you know, VHS molds. So unless you have it in a, you know, insulated environment, well, a storage tent and a tent are not insulated environments. So VHS doesn't, doesn't work here. Actually, um, found in a box my crow VHS, it doesn't have a case, completely molded. I was so bummed, but I have it on DVD. But it, it's stress, it's stressful, a little stressful, you know. I, I've never lived somewhere where the weather can affect things so much. I mean, look at my chair, see that? That is all from the weather. It's like completely wrecked right there. And that is all from, and then look down here even. Um, see that? That is all from the weather, the humidity and the sea air since we're an island. You know, you can't, who can predict that that's gonna happen to your items? You know, I, I mean, I knew that the weather affected some things like if you bring um, composite wood here, it isn't going to last very long. Eventually, it will just crumble into dust. Um, and I do have some items, bookshelves and stuff like that that are compo partly composite wood. And they just fell apart. So, it's good if you're going to move to Hawaii to bring solid wood. Or buy your item here. But it can be spendy, so if you're moving from the mainland, definitely want to bring your own furniture and make sure it's solid wood. And then when you get it here, put a clear coat on it or, or some kind of stain that protects the wood because who knows? Who knows? I just, I don't know. I'm not a woodworker. I'm not a paint expert. I just know that on some of my wood items, like I have a coca-cola treasure chest that um someone homemade um out of coca-cola crates and i sealed it from the inside out because i don't want it to get wrecked you know i don't want invasive fire ants to or termites burrow into my beautiful coca-cola piece you know what i'm saying so yeah it's a lot to deal with you you don't think about these things when you move to hawaii so i think in the future i might write a kind of book guidebook about moving to hawaii because i think that i could give some great insights into you know when and it would be a great help to people who are moving here to live here permanently or even seasonally because there's a lot of things that you never even thought would happen um, in a tropical location if you come from a more temperate climate. You know, like 
I'm used to on the mainland in Washington there's sugar ants which just hang out by where sugar is in your kitchen or where there's any kind of sugary food source carpenter ants which live under the rugs or under the floor and then you have like um, you know tent caterpillars whoop de doo um, they do have those silverfish in some places those are kind of gross um, and of course you know if you're you have an unclean environment you're gonna get cockroaches or even water bugs or whatever and every once in a while they'll they'll have some cicadas or whatever you know bees wasps hornets all your flying insects and everything but I didn't um, yeah you can get stung by a hornet or a wasp and I have or a bee um, you know in Eastern Washington they have you know recluse and black widows and uh, you know scorpions and all kinds of creepy critters here they got these see that thing up there geckos he's just hanging out they like to hang out in my tent outside my tent so he's just cruising along there he's digging it they usually hang up on these poles right here and kind of hang out and then they go down there where their cycle bin is which that's a recycle bin just for cans and whatnot he's just chilling up there I don't know where the other ones are you got to be careful if you're sitting below them because they will pee and um, you know drop a deuce on your arm or your furniture that you have outside so you want to have party furniture here who knew that was the thing I didn't know I I was like sitting here and then I feel some wet on my arm and I look down from like 10 feet up there and I'm all like what the heck is that and it's tinkle from a uh, lizard lizard tinkle how nice so just some things to look out for but I changed the deck around I used to have a, a little couchy thing here and I have a couch there a little Coleman couch but I ended up replacing it with this this has a cooler on it and then also a table both drink holders it's a comfy chair it's great for the space and then I put the little other couch in the tent and it looks great in there and then that way it gives people a seat you know a place to sit which is nice you know you don't want to be talking to someone just if you're visiting and just standing around staring at them as they sit on their bed because I don't have a couch you know I'm working trying to work on that but it's really hard to find a convertible couch I want the kind where you can like just push the back and it lays down into a bed because it would be really cool to just chill on in the living room say watch a DVD or play a video game or something and just chill out on the couch or read or whatever listen to music you know vice versa but things are coming together everything will be like I will when I get the tent completely done I will totally do a complete tour show you the upgrades I've made and you will see that it will all come together cohesively and be a livable space because right now it's basically my bedroom <laughs> You know because that's the only floor that's been replaced and the rest of the floor hasn't been replaced I have to do that over time so just giving a little heads up of what's going on and then um, so I did I have seen several movies and I will be doing I'm gonna do a little research so I can get background information on who the director is who's in it and what they've been in so I can get give you kind of a reference no spoilers it'll just be a brief synopsis and what I thought of the movie you know anyway um, I'll be doing so that's coming up in the future and then I'm going to research on YouTube how I can get music that I've already recorded 
onto my YouTube channel and um, because a rocker with the walker has tons of music but can't really showcase it and I really want to do that you know and put that content out there I think that's cool um, I've been to like several concerts and I have footage from all of them and I got nowhere to put them so this is the super cool news I am going to see Flock of Seagulls and I know the drummer on social media we're we're really good buddies um his name's Kevin Rankin and um so I'm gonna go to Oahu Honolulu and see them December 1st and then Strange Love the Depeche Mode tribute who I saw in May of this year in Washington State I got to see them there I'm gonna they're gonna open up for Flock of Seagulls so I'm gonna see them again I'm like super amped can't wait anyway um the last time I seen them I got a signed poster this time I'm hoping to get a signed t-shirt where they sign it right in front of you that is so cool you get to meet them too there's like a meet and greet afterwards I mean, that's what it was like on the mainland. I don't know what it'll be like in Hawaii. Um, but it'll be really cool to meet up with Kevin and hang out, uh, you know, in Honolulu and not be on Big Island for a while. It's nice to have a little vacay. And I got a room and for a couple of days I'm going to be over there and... It'll, it'll be really nice. Um, I did have someone that I was going to bring with me, but they canceled, so it is what it is. So, I guess my extra ticket will be a souvenir. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. So, I think they're going to start a chainsaw here, so I'm going to wrap it up. But I hope everybody has a wonderful Thanksgiving if I don't talk to you. And aloha.